The following is a presentation of TFNN. The P Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, David White. And welcome all to another exciting edition of the Power Trading Hour with me, your humble, lovable, and squeezably soft host. Once more, do we go into the breach, dear friends. As always, we like to come to you at this time. The following, 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. Yeah, they were a little quick on the draw. Rough four points on the S&P cash at uh, 2387. And, of course, the last day of fun buying, uh, as the movie title said, as good as it gets. So uh, what do we have? A lot of people wanting to, to storm the, uh, the beaches here or kind of the, the most muted reaction to a Fed announcement in a long time. I'm going to say the most muted reaction to the Fed in a long time. So what else do we have going on out here? Well, we'll go through the earnings. We'll go through the rest of the stuff. But uh, uh, pretty muted move so far. Again, if money's coming into this market, which trim tabs data says that's about flat, um, we're going to see a whole lot. Now, of course, uh, we've been in hurry up and wait mode for a few days. Now we're hurrying up and waiting for Facebook after the bell. Uh, God for uh, help this market if uh, they whiff like Apple did last night. But uh, pretty similar pattern. Uh, everybody and their dog already in it. Where are the new buyers going to kind of come from? Uh, market rather tame and not willing to uh, push up here higher, at least in the first minutes after the Fed announcement. Um, but uh, we will keep an eye on it. Why don't we... Uh, why don't we get to our history, why the market is calm, uh, because I think a storm is coming. Then it's all just a little bit of history repeating. It is history repeating. On this day in 1992, an Exxon executive, Sidney Rezo, dies in a storage vault in New Jersey. Four days earlier, he was abducted from the driveway of his Morris Township, New Jersey home. Resno was uh, shot in the arm, bound and gagged, and then placed in a wooden box that was hidden in a virtually airless storage space. Despite his death, the kidnappers continued on with the ransom demands. DNA uh, and fingerprints uh, on the ransom uh, bills led to Arthur and Irene Seal. Arthur was a former police officer and security consultant for Exxon. The couple was arrested on June 19th after about 40 days on the run in 1992 um, with 100 FBI agents on his tail and her tail. Irene, uh, because in New Jersey, I guess at the time, wasn't able to testify against her husband, no matter what, even if she wanted to. Uh, they boosted this case to a federal case and in the federal jurisdiction, you can uh, get uh, your wife to testify against you. Uh, he went to jail for 60 years. She got a lighter sentence and out in 2009. But uh, this kind of changed a lot of stuff going on. Uh, Arthur Seal wrote Rainbow Warrior on the $100 bills that he got and uh, tried to make it as much as possible look like a problem with uh, tree huggers kidnapping him. And, of course, this was a, just a year after the Exxon Valdez. Uh, but uh, they caught up to him fairly quick. He's still in prison, although they say he's a model prisoner these days. Uh, but it did change the way that m uh, almost all big corporations handled ransom demands. They now have professional companies to handle it. And, again, um, a lot of other stuff going on behind the scenes on this deal. Um, and probably the, the most weird thing from this was that about a year later, uh, this case went to a uh, New Jersey Supreme Court um, decision. And the judge, this Supreme Court 
the uh, chief judge of the Supreme Court in New Jersey um, went through this case. Well, about a year later, he broke up with his girlfriend and started basically doing everything that this guy did with ransom letters, and everything else. It was one of the most bizarre thing uh, things ever to see a uh, judge, a somebody that gets to the Supreme Court level of the New Jersey Supreme Court, uh, that chief justice go insane because his girlfriend uh, decided to dump him. And uh, so she he stalked her using almost all the same kind of uh, 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 messages and everything else that this guy did. But uh, again, this led to almost every major company now doing some, uh, having some kind of program uh, for uh, kidnappings in the United States, uh, including uh, some companies offering insurance against it, and uh, they will ha uh, handle all the issues. Uh, but um, a big deal. In fact, uh, we were talking earlier about how the SNAP IPO, a uh, million dollars a year just goes into his security uh, at the IP uh, from the company. Uh, and uh, there have been two major plans to have uh, Steve, no, not Steve Jobs, uh, Bill Gates' uh, children's uh, or his children uh, kidnapped for ransom. So you do kind of set yourself up uh, as a uh, target in this, but uh, eh, it's uh, it's moved along now and evolved into an actual industry uh, to protect people and, of course, to take care of them if they do get kidnapped. On this day in 1992, weird, weird stuff. So back to the market already in progress. Uh, has it uh, decided to just take off and go to the moon? Well, no, we're still off five points in the S&P cash. Now, we did get down to 2380, uh, what, what, uh, 20, what was the low there? 2379. Uh, so 2380, let's call it round. So we're about six points up off the lows. Uh, volume still not 2 billion shares, so another vo light volume day. Again, it's all about how much fund money comes in. And today, generally, is about as good as it gets uh, in May. You generally have a lot of people... Uh, more than willing to sell in May and go away, but more than important is that the peak of cash coming into the market is normally today. So uh, could it just go sideways? It could. Am I fearful for a lot to higher prices in the market? Uh, if I'm short, no. Uh, could it go lower? Um, that's pretty much where I'm thinking. Yeah, could it go a little higher? Yes. Could it go a lot lower? The answer is yes. So uh, I would be leaning on the short side. Uh, let's go through the rest of the stocks in the market today. You can give me a call at 877-927-6648. Uh, but we will start with Apple. Um, yeah, dollar is back over 99, 99.12. And of course, can't get anything moving on with uh, gold. It's down another seven bucks. Uh, crude tried to rally up to 80, or excuse me, uh, tried to up, uh, rally up to uh, 48, I think it's uh, 48.35 earlier this morning, um, back down to 47.70. So no movement in uh, most of this action looks very deflationary. Well, we'll be back. We'll talk about Apple. We get back and, uh, man, uh, are they pimping this stock out today? We'll talk about that when we come back. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software 
software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Techno Mental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den, absolutely free, for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Hey, Takes your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 445 1044. Well, we're pretty much back to where the uh, Fed announcement came 2384 on the SP cash. I continue to think uh, we've got some kind of 30, 60, 90 day. Uh, pullback coming into the marketplace, uh, thinking that probably we've sold the sizzle and now it's time for the steak and Congress is not uh, handing out those steaks. My guess is that they will come up with something, but it'll be, um, they'll have to be beaten into it and that will probably take through the rest of the summer. Uh, in the meantime, probably a good time for a lot of people to sell and, you know, give you an opportunity to buy again, maybe midsummer or something. Uh, anyway, I think uh, we're probably going to see some pullbacks. Um, and of course, a uh, great deal of a ramp up into this. And we've got After the Bell, Facebook, and Tesla. We'll talk uh, about those later in the show, too, uh, as we have time. Anyway, um, was talking about uh, Facebook, and it just happened that I don't watch CNBC much. Normally, I keep the TV on just for a second source of quotes. And sometimes uh, some of the things I'm not looking at, but I rarely pay any attention to anybody that's on there, especially lately. Um, but uh, eh, that Fox News, uh, business news. Uh, but again, volume off. And maybe uh, if I'm going to do anything, I just read the teleprompter stuff. I don't actually listen to them talk uh, too easily to get swayed. Uh, but I turned it on this morning because I could just tell from the facial gyrations about 9:10 this morning, uh, that uh, we were having something a little different happening this morning. And that was uh, Jim Cramer single-handedly saying that you were a fool not to buy Apple. Bring me the head of the false prophet, Jim Cramer. <laughs> and yes, uh, he's been the pumpster extraordinaire in the past, uh, taking a lot of stocks to highs. And again, when you have that kind of uh, media attention, you can sway people into something and uh, make it a self-fulfilling prophecy. The downside here, of course, is that uh, he may just get people in at the top like he did in uh, Carbo Ceramics. What is that? CRR, CCR. When he took that to 160 bucks, now it's back down where? 
was it CCR or CRR? Carbo Ceramics? CRR, Carbo Ceramics. Oh, look at that. Yet another a new low out here. Um, again, it's nice to watch the dancing bear. Uh, the downside is that he does have some pull and he can get people back into a market, uh, at least in the very short term. But again, they're the kind of cannon fodder. And then he'll turn around and tell everybody he told them to sell it. What we do have in Apple is a pattern. And that pattern basically is what I was warning everybody about. You had these little dojis yesterday in many stocks. And then they opened up a little lower out here. Uh, it does not seem to say that the entire market's going to slide into the sea. But a lot of these big cap stocks uh, are pushing more than 200% uh, of uh, their weight in the indexes, and eventually all those things come back to haunt you. Um, as the, uh, as uh, Jim, uh, as not what William Buffett said, uh, you can always tell who is swimming without a bathing suit when the tide goes out. And unfortunately, a lot of these stocks are this way. Is Apple a horrible company? No. Do they sell stuff and make money? Yes. But any company can get uh, too highly valued. And two, as I said yesterday, most of these stocks have been in an endless drumbeat of they just are going to go higher. At some point, you can't find anybody else to throw money at a company, and it pulls back. We saw that in Amazon coming into the fall, and I suspect maybe we – this pattern is very similar to Facebook uh, and Amazon uh, back in the fall there. Eventually, you just run out of people with money. Now, we also have the election – uh, for France coming this weekend, I suspect we're probably going to start seeing a lot of money being pulled out uh, for those people that started throwing money at the U.S. market. They're going to think that maybe if uh, the uh, uh, extreme far left candidate that they have over there wins, uh, that it may be time to actually reinvest in Europe. And they may be taking cash out and not putting it to work before the market. But actually thinking that, you know what, I'm not going to get ahead of this. I'm going to get into all cash. And, you know, I've said it a few times before, but it's never been said by anybody better than uh, this gentleman. Yeah, well, sometimes nothing can be a real cool hand. <laughs> yes, cool hand, Luke. Sometimes nothing can be a real cool hand. And I have a feeling that many people in Europe are thinking that. So we'll have to figure that out. Oh, great. Uh, a great thing on, on uh, Amazon Prime, if you have it, that is The Racing Life of Paul Newman. Uh, even if you're not that big of a, a race fan, uh, a wonderful documentary about the man himself. And uh, I think it's kind of interesting. Anyway, Apple, and of course, uh, after the bell tonight, we've got Facebook. Let's take a quick look at that right now before I forget about it. Uh, but again, just uh, up here at highs, kind of pulling back on light volume today. You've got three gaps down below. Could it get back to 144? It could. Uh, they've kind of let it sneak, uh, sneak out already that they've are going to hire 3,000 new people. Uh, 3,000 people in San Francisco is a huge amount of money. You, it takes 100 grand just to live in a shoebox in the middle of the road, much less actually uh, doing anything. Uh, a lot of people are thinking that that is going to start hitting some of the bottom line. I don't see any massive destruction after the bell tonight. But I think it could be much like Facebook, which is they're just going to come along, kind of be out here. Maybe it closes tomorrow at 150 bucks or something. Uh, but to kind of just slightly put in the high and get the momentum traders thinking a little bit the other way. After the bell last night, we had Akamai. Again, you can always give me a call at 877-927-6648 or email me at path at tfnn.com. Uh, anyway, uh, Acme down, huge volume. Um, I don't know what else you can say about this. Uh, there is a low at $47.80 and then a gap at about $45. Uh, if the market goes the way I think it is, that $45 level is certainly possible. Uh, APC, which is uh, Anadarko Petroleum, gap down again on huge volume. 
Uh, and it's got a few gaps out here uh, that are below. $50 should be some level of support for this thing. Um, the one good thing you can say is that the, mostly the energy off this December 12th high has been on less energy, uh, except today uh, when you got the bang out here. Uh, another one uh, to the lower is uh, uh, Bungie Limited. Uh, these guys uh, bought some of those, a lot of those companies at the height of the coal and the steel business. And, you know, they've been doing fairly well, but a huge disappointment uh, with Monster Volume. Blew through all the gaps. Uh, my guess is this is headed back down to the $63 level. Uh, 63.57 goes back to November 11th of last year. So there's a gap up and down. So about 62, 63 is probably where these things were headed. Uh, may bounce around a little while, but uh, that's probably the first place you can look for a long-term bottom. Be back in a minute. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's n-a-d-e-x.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of tfnn.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. And we're looking at Boyd Gaming, BYD. Of course, uh, looks good in the uh, gambling community. Nice big gap higher today with a sign of strength. Everything you look for a breakout. So a uh, pullback to about $22.80 um, maybe would be a, a buy signal on that one. Uh, but a nice breakout on it. Uh, CPE, which is Calium uh, Petroleum, not much of a move 
tried to spike higher. Of course, uh, energy costs continue to roll lower. Uh, didn't know it yesterday when everything got hit, but finally figured it out. And it was some announcements on Libya, how much, much uh, more crude they're going to be able to dump on the market in the coming months. And that's kind of where uh, crude got hit you know, about this time yesterday. Um, Cray Incorporated, uh, been waiting for this one to come back on light volume. Well, not going to get it uh, back into its February 31st low. Hadn't pierced it yet with uh, that had a half a million shares, but you got to almost, I'm going to have at least 900 or a million uh, today. Now, it kind of didn't set into that low, but you still need the $16.10 low taken out. CTXS. A huge, nice spike out here today. And again, um, a lot of these dojis on earnings have seen reversals. And this one's up with some fairly decent volume, but back into a gap that had more volume. So again, this is the first one to watch for the first couple of ticks tomorrow. CTXS, does this thing open lower with a lower market? That's what you want to keep an eye on. Didn't check out the news on this one but certainly we've been talking about stocks finally breaking uh, these uptrends and when you could short them uh, i've been saying any close below uh, the next close below a three by three displaced uh, average you got that yesterday on the disney and uh, it's got follow through and volume out here today so you've pretty much got it that means that this thing could come back to about 104 without much problems at all Etsy, the hippies, uh, all uh, doing their patchouli business, um, not producing. I don't know what could be the fly in the business plan that thought that we were going to get a bunch of hippies to make uh, hippie-like stuff and we were going to sell it on the web. Well, some of these people, very hardworking folks, a lot of them just don't want to work any harder. And uh, it's become a big problem uh, in that they're trying to get this company going. And a lot of people just say, you know, I'm going to make uh, uh, 10 table uh, cozies a week, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm not interested in making more. Uh, and they keep fighting back and forth the culture, um, kind of like Craigslist. Craigslist is never going to want the owner of that uh, dedicated uh, San Francisco guy knows that he doesn't want to be a public company that has to make money for its shareholders. He's more than willing to uh, just uh, make whatever he makes, and he's happy with it. I don't know why this company went public, because it's a similar kind of uh, inside thing out here with people making stuff. Uh, ETSY, I don't hold high hopes out for this company. Uh, when its workforce is probably not the most motivated folks uh, in the market. Uh, 2384 on the S&P cash, still off seven points on the day. Volume is not picking up so far. Again, this is the last day of fund buying. You would probably expect a lot of people wanting to pile in. Maybe they get in there uh, late in the day. Uh, but uh, normally you start seeing movement by now, and we are not seeing any. So... Uh, I don't know. Maybe something else is happening. Uh, fang, the real Fang, not the other Fang that everybody talks about. We're talking about Diamondback Energy had its earnings today. Uh, and a nice little pop up. Uh, not much juice out here. So even if you're doing well, doesn't look like there's the kind of energy in the energy sector that you really need. Nice pop up with FireEye. Again, uh, any of these stocks that pop up with huge volume. If you uh, close, uh, if you open tomorrow down 50, 75 cents, uh, you have the possibility of setting up a lot of abandoned babies out here. Not saying that you are. Uh, if you're long, you can stay that way. But uh, you gap down tomorrow on these. Be ready to get out in a hurry. Uh, First Solar, a lot of these companies that are just massively short, uh, we've seen over the last few days uh, have some big moves. Nothing really changed in the business uh, cycle of uh, First Solar. And uh, this weekend, I, for one of the classes I'm taking on machine learning, um, I had to do a, uh, a uh, predictor of solar power for down here in Florida. 
And it's amazing how much solar power costs and what you actually get for it. But uh, most everybody puts their, uh, their solar power data online so you can go around through county by county and see, you know, what's going on. You see how many solar cells they have and which way they're pointed. And you can see the production from all these different houses. You got a lot of data points out here, but uh, kind of interesting to see this one spike. But again, it's one of these stocks where they're going to have to really whiff for the uh, shorts to pay off. You're better off shorting not in front of earnings on most of these. Frontier Communications, this company bought out all the Fios service down here in Florida. I guess they're all over. But it's been a constant straight ride to uh, nothing. So I'm wondering whether that whole thing goes belly up soon enough if this was the deal already. But uh, it doesn't look good. Earnings, uh, it's lower already. GoDaddy um, was out uh, pushing their stock earlier today. Got to $40. 26 cents and a big reversal. So not much. Uh, you certainly have some dark cloud cover on this one. Don't, uh, eh, can't imagine that business is that much different than it was a year ago. Gilead Science gapping down. Uh, not that bad a volume, but certainly 65.38 is the support level. Uh, you would watch that February 9th low for a possible bottom in this. Uh, you need to test it with lighter volume. Groupon. Another one of these uh, companies perennially headed to the basement uh, down and breaking its previous low on monster volume. January 30th, you had uh, $3.27 with a little under 7 million shares. We got uh, 30 million shares. Uh, when is that? Uh, today. Of course, this thing gapped up uh, and washed its shorts out last time uh, on the 15th. And... You know, you just uh, perennially these things bounce up and down, short squeezes. We discussed it yesterday. Nothing new there. Da -da -da. I don't know. Uh, John in the Den is asking whether FTR goes bankrupt. It just looks horrible. And I'm wondering if they didn't buy just a giant pig in the poke by buying all the Fios business down here. Did see that Fios is uh, offering one gigabit service up north for uh, $70 a month which I would love to have down here, but uh, over here they don't have it. Uh, Haynes Brands, um, I guess that cotton is starting to itch, and maybe a few too many of those shirts still have tags on them. Uh, this thing uh, opened up at uh, 2239 and headed south of the border. Volume pick kind of picking up. You've got a high volume low that should be, be tested from February 3rd. That's $18.91 with uh, 37 million shares. So that's where we're going. 1891. We'll be back. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stop price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. EverBank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. 
If that excites you like it does me, visit everbank.com slash TFNN to find out what they can do for you. Again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN. Visit them today. Everbank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. TFNN is excited to offer a brand new piece of market scanning software unlike anything the industry has ever seen. John Logan and his team have spent years developing their market profile tools to finally be able to release the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. And right now, you can get a two-week trial absolutely free just by visiting TFNN.com and providing us your name and email address. The TAS Profile Scanner Plus is the premier market profile-based scanner in the industry, powered by the acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner is a standalone desktop software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Within three minutes of signing up, you can have the software downloaded and running on your computer with a complete roadmap of market indicators and inflection points to trade off using the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. Sign up today and try this amazing piece of software by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. And just uh, kind of meandering around here, no clear direction. Uh, just maybe a point higher than we were when the announcement came at 2385. Certainly no volume, 2.2 uh, billion shares as we... Uh, go into the last day of fund buying. Um, can't see much going on. Certainly not a lot of orders. And normally if a, a uh, market maker sees that maybe there's going to be some big uh, buying coming in, they'll try to drive the price up earlier in the earlier part of the day. And I don't see any real push or volume or a lot of spikes uh, where they think people are going to go after maybe 3.30 today. Uh, but just a very quiet day and very rare for uh, the Fed. At least everybody has an idea. Um, but uh, not much going on right now. In fact, uh, yeah, let's come back and take a look here at some of these other ones. Dollar still above 99. 99.10 is the last quote I have on it. Gold continues to fade down 10 bucks at uh, 12.46. Silver uh, getting smackaroonied uh, almost off 1.8 percent, 1654. Uh, is there anything else out here that I'm missing? Why this thing is fairly quiet. Um, and uh, crude 4781. This doesn't seem like it can catch a bid. So uh, we'll go back to uh, what's happening now. Anyway, we're talking about uh, more earnings. Haynes Brands uh, apparently. Yeah, even the uh, nice soft cotton is not doing enough. Retail continues to be weak, no matter what it is. February 3rd, $18.91 looks like where Haynes Brands is headed back. That's HBI on that one. Mondelez, a lot of people calling about that one yesterday on TFNN. Uh, this thing is back up uh, to the previous high, but gave it all up. Got to $45.88. Uh, that was about 10 cents off the December 15th high that had 21.5 million shares. Got into it today with a little less than 10 million shares so far and rolled right over. So maybe that's telling you a little bit about what's going on in the more general market. Another one that rolled over uh, going through a previous high was the April 26th high on Molina Healthcare. You had uh, 67.87 with 1.3 million shares. Uh, Spiked it with monster volume today with 11 million shares, but still couldn't hold that high. Uh, you went through three gaps, and it's uh, back through those three gaps again. Uh, wouldn't pull it short, but again, kind of ugly action out here for all the volume and all the movement. Uh, Match Group, M at TCH, uh, down. I think this is Match.com and a bunch of other dating sites. Uh, came down. Not much volume on that one, though. Uh, Eau Claire, OCLR, uh, this one opened way down. It's got a little bit of it back. Uh, heavily shorted stock, by the way. Um, and maybe that's just short covering from today. Uh, but uh, still looks like uh, just under seven bucks is where this wants to go. We have uh, Paychex, uh, or a Paycom, excuse me, P A Y C. This one has got a little one out here. And again, 
you're looking for gap downs in the morning. This one is not as as clean as many others, but um, a lot of these up here eh, not really driving a lot of volume. Uh, to to uh, see what this one is, Plantronics or something, P L N T, Planet Fitness. Eh. Hang on a second. I need to put this in my goodie bag. Hang on a second. There it is. And symbol P L N T Planet Fitness. Okay. I'll get that one updated here. Uh, what do we have going on on this? Well, another one that went a little higher today and then rolled and pretty much rolled fairly hard. Not a lot of juice, but looks like it's going back to $18.32, uh, that April 11th low. PRGO, which is the uh, bio uh, company. And see if there's anything else out on this. Uh, just tried to get back up into its gap, or this thing gapped down on huge volume on the 28th of February with 14.4 million shares. Got into it yesterday with 2 million shares. It gapped back down today, um, 2.7 million shares so far. Uh, probably looking at 65.47 as the next next test point, which is the April 4th low. Domino's death disc uh, coming out with earnings. No, not. Oh, this is uh, Papa John's. I thought this was Domino's. P Z Z A. Um, gap down with a lot of volume on the 22nd of February. Did so with 3.8 million shares. Got into it with 700,000 shares on April 5th and rejected it. Came back down to April 20th at 75.55. It's got right back up uh, and opened well this morning and then gave it all back. So dark cloud cover on that one. Shopify, another one out here at all-time highs. Uh, little doji out here on earnings. I think earnings was yesterday, actually. And now a little doji out here sitting on the side. Watch for a gap down in that tomorrow. STRP, the big winner out here today. So uh, we'll have to play the winner song for Straight Path Communications. <laughs> Boy, the Red Rocker. And apparently they're going to leave it, leave it all behind. This thing is kind of a no-volume stock. No one paid any attention to it. Man, what a rocket up here. 156.17 for, uh, for this thing. But three massive gaps. We've talked about uh, uh, three gap plays. Um, one more gap in this thing. Uh, that's like this first gap out here, and I'd have to be taking a, a look at uh, whether or not there were any options on this thing and lower. Uh, for stocks that uh, actually get the uh, loser horn, do I have the loser horn out here? I do. This one was taken apart last night after the bell, uh, Twilio. Uh, this had been one of the big Momo stocks couple of people in the den ran it up uh, and got out. Thank God, I would imagine. Uh, but uh, this is how these end. This will be what Tesla's chart looks like one day. You just don't know what it's going to be tonight, some other day. Eventually, you run out of uh, people willing to buy it. Uh, wasn't a lot in the chart out here, but the, uh, the reality was that uh, they just pushed earnings to the breaking point. And of course, uh, Earnings last night, they just couldn't wallpaper over the huge uh, issues that they had underlying their sales. Uh, and this thing has come back. Let's see. I mean, it's blown out everything with volume, uh, including this January twenty, uh, January 3rd low. Is there anything else out here that we can look back to? I think that's it. If this hadn't been around that long as an IPO, it looks like it's going to get ready to go back under its IPO price of last year. Uh, Vandia, VNDA, Pharmaceuticals. Uh, this one opened much lower, has kind of recovered throughout the day, not a lot of volume, so kind of a marginal signal there. We get back, we've got a couple more earnings uh, from today to look at, then we'll talk about earnings after the bell tonight. Uh, and then I guess it's uh, two hours of a uh, 
Tom O'Brien. He'll be covering the earnings at the four o'clock hour and, of course, how Facebook does. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long long term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light speed world of ever evolving high tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNM.com. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. And we are back. Um, going into earnings tonight. So where's my little earnings thing out here? Um, we talked about Facebook, kind of looks to me like the uh, same thing in Apple, especially the 3,000 people that they're going to hire just to watch Facebook live. Uh, certainly going to hit the bottom line. I don't, at best, it holds. At worst, it, it pulls back a little further. Uh, Tesla has been selling off for two days, I think mostly on the light sales numbers from Fords and others. Um, big spike out here. Not a lot of volume in the shorts. Again, you just never know. This could be 280 uh, at 430 today. Um, it just give. It's just when everybody on the long side gives up on this. But this is the I Omega of uh, 2017. You need to go back and look at that stock. Uh, but there's not been one that I think has been so irrational as. Uh, as I Omega since uh, or uh, since uh, I Omega, uh, Tesla certainly equaling it, if not exceeding it. Fitbit, uh, who knows what's going to happen with this thing? Um, the watches and everything else just have turned to dust. Uh, even 
Apple's earnings last night show how poor uh, tablets and watches are selling. Uh, don't know what they're going to be pushing today. Uh, certainly don't like the comments that Apple made about China and basically not being able to get anything done there. But I've told you that for the last two years that everybody thinks that there's a massive pile of cash that they can get from the Chinese communists and uh, they ain't letting any money out of their country. I think uh, if there's one company that's made any money, it's got to be Wynn, and that's actually in Macau. So I don't think uh, that there's much to be had out here. Um, who knows on Fitbit? Maybe they get bought out. Maybe they don't. Uh, Square, uh, the other Jack Dorsey company, again, kind of rolling over here pre-earnings. Um, you know, you'd really like this thing at about 1550 to buy it. I don't see a real edge either way in it. Rig has been weak with energy. Again, we talked uh, earlier today in the show about why uh, energy kind of broke yesterday. That was the Libyans really talking about how much more oil that they can bring to the market. It was kind of hard to find the news. Uh, what you do see today is just a, a long uh, pullback uh, in this market. It should have held. Uh, Back a little while ago, it made a fairly good signal, uh, went sideways for a week, and then just kind of turned over, and uh, that was it. Um, you know, you've got a gap at about 950. You've got uh, also an existing low at $8.68. At this point, I don't think that you can buy rig unless it tests that 868 on lighter volume. There's just too much there. Uh, what else do we have after the bell? Oh, did we get to Weight Watchers? I don't think we did. Uh, Weight Watchers, nice pop out here today, not near enough volume, and you got some major gaps underneath it. Look for a lower close tomorrow to signal maybe a top in this market. Uh, we also have AIG after the bell, Cirrus Logic, C-R-U-S, stamps.com, 3D Systems, uh, Corvo, the old RF micro devices and Broadcom, uh, XPO Logic, uh, t -t Tableau Software, which is D-A-T-A, a uh, handful of others out here. Avis Car Group, boy, have those been getting beaten. Uh, Cheesecake Factory, uh, to, 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 to what else do we have out here that can move? Williams Company, WMB, eh, a few more out here. But uh, I'm not expecting any kind of a huge move uh, after hours tonight. I think quiet probably is the rule of the day. We'll see how the end of the market comes in. But uh, maybe another point or two higher. So when you can, not when you have to. And we will see you here tomorrow. Same bat channel. Same bat time. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. You're watching Tiger TV.